Hello, today's video is about hydraulics, but before, before we get there, we need to think about pressure and make sure that we're all happy with calculations involving pressure. So you should have covered the fact that pressure is equal to force divided by area. We'd like force ideally to be given in Newtons. Area in square meters. And so if you have got quantities given in centimetres, you might need to do some conversions. And then pressure can have units of pascals. So we could say that one pascal is equal to one Newton per square metre. Okay, so let's have a look at an example calculation. If we have a box with a known weight, so the weight is 1000 newtons and it has dimensions 0.25 meters by 125 centimeters then we know that the area that we're interested in, if we want to calculate the pressure that the box exerts on the floor, the area is given by that. Area of a rectangle is uh, the product of these two quantities, 0.25 meters and 125 centimeters. So the area is 0.25 multiplied by 1.25 so you need to be really careful to make sure that all your quantities are in meters area in this case try to bring that so you can see it 0.25 times 1.25 is 0.3125 square meters so the pressure that this box will exert on the floor is Pressure is force over area. The force is 1000 newtons. The area 0.3125 square meters. That's a pressure of 1000 divided by 0.3125, which is 3200 pascals. or 3.2 kilo pascals. So that's one example. What about if we had a glass for holding a drink? The weight of the glass and the drink was one kilogram, so we're looking at about 10 newtons there. And if the glass had a radius R, where R is three centimeters. Okay, first thing we need to do convert the radius to meters 0 0.03 meters. This is 100 centimetres in a metre. Think about the area of this. We know the area of the circle is pi r squared. So the area of the drinks glass is pi multiplied by 0 0.03 squared. So the area is 2.83 times 10 to the minus 3 square meters. If we wanted to write that out, those two things are the same, two quantities are the same. So the pressure that this cup exerts on the floor, pressure equals force over area, is 10 newtons 
divided by an area 0.00283 square meters Three thousand five hundred and thirty three hundred thirty four pascals, and so the pressure that the cup exerts is three point five kilopascals. And it might seem surprising, but what that shows is that the cup actually exerts a greater pressure on the floor than the box, even though the box was a hundred times heavier. So the final thing to think about is that in any of these questions you might need to calculate the area or you might need to calculate the force. Some of my students like the equation triangle. You could say pressure is force over area. Force over area. Area is force over pressure. Right, force divided by pressure, and the force is pressure times area. Okay, so that's the starting point. That's some calculations based on pressure. Hope that was helpful. If you've got any questions, uh, just add to, to the comments. And the next video, we'll move on to look at hydraulic systems.